The North Carolina State Highway Patrol was first formed in 1929. Their mission to control increasingly dangerous roadways across North Carolina. In the 1920s alone, the number of cars on the road had increased from around 150,000 to more than a half million. More cars meant more crashes and more vehicle deaths. The 37 original highway patrolmen were issued Harley Davidson motorcycles. It wasn't until 1935 that the first cruiser was issued. Now this is the only remaining North Carolina State Highway Patrol car from the original batch of 28 ordered in 1935 at a cost of $560 each. The car came equipped with a police band radio. The trunk could even accommodate a stretcher to transport an injured motorist and the windshield. Well, that's one and an eighth inch bulletproof glass, but it was a ragtop with no side windows. So you better be pointed directly at the bad guy when the shooting started. Allegedly, one reason the Ford V8 was chosen as a cruiser for law enforcement of the day was to compete with the bad guys. John Dillinger evaded federal agents in his 1930 Ford Model A. Clyde Barrow of Bonnie and Clyde drove a 1934 Ford and even wrote Henry Ford a letter thanking the automaker for creating great getaway cars. It only made sense to have something that could match what the bad guys were driving. Now this car was discovered in a Greensboro junkyard. It's been restored twice, runs well, drives well, and is often used in museum events. It's also shown at the museum in honor of those law enforcement personnel who protected us on the roadways for nearly 100 years. Continue to learn at home with other great videos from the North Carolina Transportation Museum on Facebook, YouTube, and nctrans.org. The North Carolina Transportation Museum in Spencer is the museum that moves you.